morning, Gabe, and good morning, Kunal. We are at the IA 2016 Jacobs booth, and we understand that you have a new technology for trucking, which is high power density. Uh, could you please tell us more about the high power density technology and what edge it brings to the trucking industry? Sure. Okay. Um, so we call it the future of engine braking, and what it is is allows two compression release events per cam rotation instead of the conventional one. So for example, in a conventional engine brake, at the top of the compressor stroke, we open the exhaust valve to get retarding so the energy from the compressor stroke is not returned back to the crank. With the new technology, we use cylinder deactivation to deactivate the intake and exhaust events so that we can get a second compression release event at the top of the exhaust stroke. Two compression release events in one cam rotation will give you twice as much braking power. It'll give you as much braking power as a driveline retarder does, but without any of the drawbacks, such as parasitic losses that impact fuel economy, uh, significant cost, it's a fraction of the cost, and it's, and it's a significant amount of weight. It's much, it's much lighter for the technology. So it gives you the same power without any of the drawbacks from a driveline retarder. So and that's what we're launching here today. But does this also mean that it translates translates into more uh, cost efficient for the transporter and also at a very low RPM? Yes, throughout the whole RPM range, especially in low RPM, it improves your retarding power. So instead of having to shift different gears to get high braking power, you can reduce, you can keep your RPM low, you can keep your gear selection low to get high braking power throughout the whole RPM range. And it does, it is more cost effective than a driveline retarder. It's a fraction of the overall cost. The OEM doesn't have to change the radiator. It doesn't have to change the driveline. It doesn't have to provide the coolant pumps and any of the hoses and control systems for a driveline retarder because our system goes in the existing valve train of the engine without significant modification. Coming to you, Kunal, how do you see this technology translate into the Indian context? And as well as if you could shed some light on the overall market in India, how has it matured to the technology that you provide? Yes, um, that's a very good question. So we have a market for the retarders, and that's the premium bus segment. You know, the cost that probably the bus driver, the fleet owner of the bus that has to pay or shell out is to the tune of 10 lakhs, which is 1 million Indian rupees. And what we are talking about, the HPD, you know, uh, comes at a fraction of cost that Gabe just mentioned, could be uh, cheaper by 50 50 percent almost so that's that's big saving without all that auxiliary equipment that goes to cool it down to, to cool the retarder down so it it has a big value for the oes they will i think it's a big opportunity for india of course it takes a lot of dedication and, and time to develop one for a specific engine so i think the message should go out to the indian oems and they should look at uh, hpd as an alternative solution a competitive solution to retarders what we are doing now, and I think what Motor India is already aware of, we were working on the engine brake for Cummins engine. It has matured, we are doing field tests, and we have very positive driver's feedback, trucker's feedback, and they can see an augmentation of the braking power from the exhaust brake that we, they were using. So we are providing them two options, either they take our exhaust brake, combine it with the engine brake, get more power, or just take the engine brake and uh, uh, tune it with the exhaust brake and you know increase the performance of their uh, braking system. So it's been really received quite well.